On this week's episode of Nerds Talking the Podcast, the nerds talk about LinkedIn, the career site, or is it a social media site? Who knows these days? We do. And do you have allergies? You ever had a stroke? Maybe it's caused by allergies or something else. Maybe it's a dating website you used and you had no luck like some of us. And finally, the writer's strike has hit Hollywood once again. Is your favorite show in Jeopardy? Do you like to watch Jeopardy? They don't have writers, so you're safe. But if you like Netflix, you're screwed. All that and more here on Nerds Talking the Podcast. Now start the show. Nerds Talking the Podcast. Yo! We talk about lightsabers, stunning your TV screens, what you want to stream, everything beyond your dreams. Want to talk about movies, sports, or even politics. Go ahead and tune into us, we'll give you all of it. Whatever you debate, next box of PlayStation, Marvel or DC, Mac or PC. Teraflops when the movie drops, gigabytes, chips, RAM, no matter what it is, we got all of it. Welcome to the show. Nerds Talking, the podcast. Welcome to Nerds Talking the Podcast. I'm here with Carlos, Laura, Johnny, and I'm Lafayette. Welcome to the show. I got a little birdie tell me this is a review-free show. We have no reviews. Now, before we start, who saw Guardians of the Galaxy? We got Carlos. I did. I saw I'm it seeing one. it Saturday. We got three. I'm seeing it Saturday. We got three out of four. Okay, so I guess we'll have to wait. For the fourth one to watch it. So next I'm week, people. I'm definitely seeing it. It's Guardians the of the list. Galaxy Volume 3. And then I think only two of us saw the movie called Renfield. So, uh, yeah. So we suck this week. And that's okay. We'll be better next week. Wait, better at sucking? I'll figure that out later. Johnny? <laughs> that's right. Okay. So we're going to jump off with a topic about LinkedIn. LinkedIn is where you can go find jobs and post about your resumes and post about your jobs and how you got a new job or, you know, or you see a bunch of promotions for items and products that maybe your friends work for certain companies or it's, it's a big, uh, it's a big advertising, uh, social media thing, but it's mainly supposed to be for jobs it's for your, to put your resume on there and your job skills and so forth. But then People start using it like it's just regular old social media. They just decided, you know what? I'm going to take my Facebook posts over here now. So you guys tell me what you're seeing. Carlos seems to be sick of it. He's had enough of LinkedIn. So go ahead. Give me your take or your feedback or what it is that you're seeing on there these days that, uh, you know, you're not uh, too too happy about, I guess. You know, as, as I am an avid user of LinkedIn, but I use it primarily just for work. What do you guys use it for, if you use it at all? Uh, we'll start with uh, Johnny. I assume you don't really use LinkedIn because of your profession. You're uh, correct. Are you, I don't yeah. use that. Well, and it, it's true because people that are on LinkedIn, I would say, are more in, in hmm, what kind of professions primarily use LinkedIn? I guess business professionals? White collar. Uh, I what, feel like oh, if you're oh, um, racist. If you're in... Like management and yeah, there you go. There you uh, go. For law enforcement, even I'm sure you can network that way. I guess, but as recruiters. for recruiters, as for recruiters, like a knuckle, yeah. knuckle dragger like me, I'm no, I'll no see, need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say a knuckle yeah. dragger? He's a yeah. knuckle dragger. Yeah, yeah. He's the lowest of the low. Yeah. Yeah. Pavement pounder. Uh huh. That sounds dirty. Is. Every time I say it, that's a pavement dirty. pounder. Pavement you mean a homeless guy just pounder? bangs a sidewalk? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. You're right, though. I think it's more a white collar. You're not going to see a construction guy on there. You know, uh, a plumber. Well, maybe you might see a plumber, but that's only because he's trying to get a new gig or something, right? Because it's like again, you. I don't know if you guys that do use LinkedIn. Do you guys get hit up for jobs a lot on LinkedIn? I do. I kind of have to use LinkedIn for my job, but I get super duper annoyed at all of the subterfuge. Like social media is fake, right? We all know that. But when people are putting that fakeness out about their work life, it really it's like nails on a chalkboard to me. Like people who post stuff all the time like I'm so privileged to be a part of blah blah blah. I'm oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... The, the, the humble brag. It's called the humble brag. God, yeah, and like yeah, the yeah. ass kissing. It's just yeah, yeah, awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. 
and people just use it to like to post stuff about their lives like you said like they tend to take go to facebook post about their kids and i'm like i'm sorry what does this have to do and i saw this really i I do follow one linkedin account that is very entertaining it's called mba ish and it's like a business meme (laughs) uh place and there was this one one post that was like it's like my daughter had a recital a dance recital and she did horribly she missed every single step and she came crying to me afterwards she said i'm so sorry daddy and i said don't you've given me the best content for a linkedin post <laughs> That's All a good way that. to look at it. Yeah, and I was like, oh, it's so true. It's like you're mining your personal life for some kind of like inspirational business message. It just makes me a Ralph. Yeah. Oh, wow. Did you just use an acronym? What? Ralph? Yeah. No, like. Ugh, oh, Ralph. my bad. I thought you meant roll <laughs> on the ground fucking laughing. Like, no, no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what, what's a Ralph? <laughs> Uh, to be gotcha. fair, I haven't heard that in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Since like Gone Goonies. Old school. Goonies. With my leg. <laughs> Sound like something that would have in that movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Carlos, how about you? What's your LinkedIn experience like these days? I don't really use it. I have my resume up there. And I think it's dumb how people try to use it like a social media. I, I, I think I used to use it, I think. I went on there like looking for jobs when I was looking for jobs, but I don't really go on it. It's not my thing. I mean, I'll get notifications all the time. Ooh, eight people noticed you this week. And then, ah, cool. And then next week, the same thing. I'm guessing it's the same eight people. But then when you go to look, oh, you want to know who it was? Sign up for pro. I'm like, God, oh, yeah. fuck off. That's how my oh. eHarmony account was. Your what? <laughs> my eHarmony account. <laughs> like, I see we got a bunch you. of people interested. If you give me 10 bucks, I was like, I'll give you 20. And then it was all <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, I'll give you 20 to Isn't guarantee. That, didn't they used to do this thing where like, look who's looking at you and then they would show you like a thumbnail, like someone's like cheek or like close up of their eye. If you want to see their picture, you got to pay them to see the picture. Well, no, I like, don't remember that one, but yeah. That's I mean, creepy. I would say body body but parts. Saying, yeah, yeah, like he used to like, use. Look it. at that ear. No, no, I said, yeah, like what are you using? Like what 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 app is that that you're talking about? I don't thought that's what it was. I think I remember. I don't know. It's been that a while. Be... You saw like their shoulder, like their arm, like oh, that's a sexy shoulder. Got to pay more to see the rest. I like how. Uh, yeah, that's like I like how you're. It's a captcha. <laughs> Like, just a piece. Like, which which one is the road? <laughs> Solve the puzzle. Yeah. Are you human? Which person is? Uh, oh, have always you guys, get me. Yeah. Have you guys all done online dating? All of you? I have. No. I have. It's been a no while. No Lafayette? No, no. I've I've never it's only it. been with like two people in his entire life. Like oh, it was a yeah. Steve, what's his Maybe face? And yeah, like Gary. The... <laughs> Harry Gary, uh, I remember. Yeah, remember Harry Gary? Oh yeah. You know the yeah. worst part was though, no heart, no hair on his balls. Bald balls, just like Carlos. <laughs> Bald balls. <laughs> Use nair on those suckers. Just dip it in there. Anyway, Ouch. uh it's fucking gross. It burns. <laughs> You're supposed to Sensitive. just be insulted, not like the worst roll part of that is it taint burns. So it is taint burn. Oh god. <laughs> Uh no, I LinkedIn. I just use it for work primarily, and uh, every a lot of people I know are on LinkedIn. So, and not just post about work. That's what I don't see so much of the social media crap. I just see um people posting about work. But I do see the post lawyers talking about where, oh my God, I'm so privileged to be with this real estate company. They're the best. Todd, oh my God, Todd is amazing. <laughs> like what? What? No, who's Todd? So I apply at their job just to find out who Todd is to an interview. <laughs> like, what what, what, what makes you want to work here? Who's Todd? What do you mean? I show the I show the post. This guy. Who's I went to LinkedIn. It's working. <laughs> yeah. Todd seems to be a great guy. Is he here? Uh, my name's Gary. Um, <laughs> so it looks like, like uh, they're used to know. Them, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, they're uh, laying off over seven hundred people. And oh, in closing, China and closing off their China yeah. branch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you don't too much competition. Though, right? this they, 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 they all look alike. <laughs> <laughs> Not even that. There's 1.5 billion LinkedIn profiles for the same job. Oh my god, the servers go down every day. 
to uh, how many kids can make nikes do you like exactly do you like nikes you ever thought of making some yeah oh, man. <laughs> you own an iphone you ever thought of making an iphone like that's uh, oh my god uh yeah. the nets on the windows are to keep the birds in not to stop you from jumping that's right but let's jump over to uh online dating yeah let's see carlos and johnny's uh uh, any stories they might have or anything interesting from their uh, and Laura, I'm not sure Laura, but Laura, have, you know, so we got two yep. here that can give us maybe their uh, experience, good or bad. And um, maybe you thought there was something there, but then you had to click the shoulder and on the street lights, and you didn't get. Did you guys meet your wives on online dating? Oh, Johnny, what's that? Did you meet your wife online dating? Mm-mm. Carlos? No, no. no. Okay. I met her at work. Mm. Johnny did too at his work. Picked her up after midnight. Hey, oh, wow, hey, that's oh. not right. That's oh. not right, man. Why are you guys always doing that to Johnny? Yeah, I'm not quite sure because you know my it. wife, and I tell yeah. her she'll be upset with you. Yeah. She's like, uh, he thinks I'm a streetwalker, a good looking one, honey, like a re- like the best one on the block. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, I've I've dated a few girls online, and I remember it was. I want to say like 08, 09 ish. And there was still that uh, stigma around it. Like people were still kind of ashamed. And when I told people, or when people asked, hey, where'd you meet this girl? Uh, Starbucks. So I, <laughs> I just didn't have the heart to say I, I met her online. Yeah, but which you apps? were on your phone in Starbucks. Or which so sites? They weren't apps yet. Yeah, I guess. What, yeah, they yeah. Were... What's, that's right. Good point. Was it what eHarmony, site? OKCupid? Okay, yeah, like, what hot are we or not. At? Which one was it? Uh, oh, I remember Hot or Not. That's good. Was that a that dating was, site? Was that a dating No, no, that was just you, you put But I was a highly then... rated son of a bitch. <laughs> I, think I, I was never like put 82%. my picture up there. I was like, no 82? Way. Oh, you're one of the losers then. Yeah, no. that's a B. That's a B. I pass. That's a B, yeah. yeah 82? Yeah. I'd be thrilled with 82% think I'm hot. Oh, okay, yeah. So, Johnny, what, app, what, what website was it? You said it was eHarmony? Uh, I did eHarmony. I did Match.com. Um, Isn't eHarmony like the the Christian? Don't they own it or something? No, that's no, uh, but they they mingle. They add or they advertise the most thorough. Oh, that's right. I don't know. You get your your most thorough match, uh, life partners and marriage material type stuff, just mm. based on their survey. So fill out their survey, and then you be as honest as you can, and then you get these profiles and these uh suggestions and i mean yeah no luck on that one um i did another one called mingle to match and that was free oh. and uh you get what you yeah, pay for yeah you pay for it. you get what you pay for <laughs> i did uh date a couple of girls on there and uh you know real nice people just didn't work out but and then so... match.com match.com you can wink at people, you know, like if you're interested. Exactly. Just like that look. And then uh, a facial, facial I, twitch. I winked at, I don't know, America. Like I winked at everybody. <laughs> just trying to get, get a like wink Like you had back. cataracts or some yeah, shit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're, like, you're like my buddy Aaron that has the, all those apps where he swipes left every, no matter who it is. He doesn't care who it is. Even if a guy that accidentally pops right up, he's was like, the good one. Well, I don't yeah, even swiping. know. I'm just saying. Yeah, he's okay, doing he's... it all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody contacts me, bro. You're swiping the wrong way. Uh, but yeah, so which, so uh, continue, Johnny. Yeah, I mean, uh, of of all the apps, I mean, I've, I've only dated uh, people from the free one, from Mingle to Match, I think it was called. Um, then soon after that, met the wife and gave it all up. But... If I had to do it again, I'd be on Bumble. That's a, a big one. And then, uh, what's the hooking up site? Tinder. Tinder or but... Grinder. Hey, no, here's no. The gay one. no, no, not not Grinder. Well, yeah, it's a hookup site. You're not wrong though. He's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably go on Tinder. Uh, or I almost say you can say it. Say it, Grinder <laughs> or, or Bumble. According because, to uh, a buddy of mine, Bumble, he said is the hookup app. Well, like I have uh, friends that have met their current wives from same same here from same both here. Bumble and uh, Tinder. So, oh, okay, yeah. that's what I'd probably do. And... My, yeah, he he told me the difference was Tinder is 
you know, anybody and everybody that uh, no matter what they look like, they want to hook up. He said Bumble is almost like middle class to high class hookups. That's what he, that's how he put it. <laughs> and he's like, that's how I got out of that, man. He's he was bragging one day playing golf. And he's like, I use the shit out of those apps. He goes, but Bumble's number one, bro. He's like, you want to meet some some high class girls? Bumble. I said, no, man, you live in a very rich city. That's how they're showing up. Like, Agreed. It's, nothing, it's a radius of where you're at. If I, you know. Oh, that's another thing. I I might have expanded my radius. Like, at first it was like 15 250 or... miles. Oh, my God. I was like, well, it's only a nine-hour trip. Deal. And oh. uh, it did not help. It did not help my numbers. Yeah. So, on, like, eHarmony and Match.com, like, you just didn't get matched well with people? Or, like, how did that? How did you You know what burn? I mean? Yeah. yeah. On match, I would wink at them, and then if they wink back, then I'd send them a message, and then they usually stopped from there. Uh, huh. I ran into a high school girlfriend on there, and I I winked at her, and she did not wink back. I can't for the life of me wonder why. I I thought it ended well, but I guess the fact guess, that it ended, uh, it just didn't. Yeah, that's a sign. Who ended it? That's the question. I mean, it's high school. Yeah, you did. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, no I, know, I know. You're a big basketball star. I get it. It's high school. Who cares who ended it? That's right. <laughs> that's, right. Um, well, that's right. He had to break all ties. That contract was coming. Mm-hmm. No, Trying to, to get drafted in the NBA. What the fuck? He can't have those women chasing him. You know, dragging luggage, dragging you around. Hell no. Right, Johnny? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Carlos, which one did you down. use? I think the only one I used was OKC, OK Cupid. Mm-hmm. And I never dated anybody from there. Like dated them. I mean, I've gone out on dates, but I never dated anybody. And some of them were not what they were the online. The yeah, picture, yeah, 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 yeah. I also feel like that's just the online experience. Was Most it the high like, camera angles? Well, not popular, that's possibly, but no. But those are those are tricky. Those are. So, how many dates would you say you went on? Mm, maybe three before I gave up on the stupid app. Like okay. I'm like three strikes, you're out. I'm done with oh, this. That's a fair shot. Yeah, let me go back yeah. to normal stuff. Let me go to the the clubs, the bars, or whatever. Terrible place to meet people. Yeah, yeah. horrible. <laughs> no, you meet a lot of people <laughs> there. Yeah, you meet a lot of people though. You meet a lot, a lot of people. That. I mean, it's not a terrible place to meet people in general. Yeah. You know. Um, but but his he didn't meet his wife at a club or bar. Johnny didn't meet his wife at a club or bar either. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, so anytime boom. I think about thinking or meeting a girl at a club, I think about that uh that viral thing. It's like, hey, what's your name? And then oh, yeah. replies, Tony. <laughs> Fuck you, Tony. Fuck you, Tony. <laughs> it's so I fucking loud. Fuck <laughs> you, Tony. Yeah, that shit is hilarious. Uh, well, there you go, people. LinkedIn, use it for what it's meant for. And uh, yeah, but another I'm, one that's stupid uh, is Venmo. People try to use that as like a social thing too. Oh, uh, yeah. So I, stupid. Yeah. I mean, like, I all my transactions not... are private. I don't need people to know. Like I said, I go on there, like all my friends are on there for some reason. All my contacts are there. I can see who paid for pizza or who gave money for a sushi or I'm like, and for rent. I'm like, who gives a shit? Why do I care what they're doing with their money? Is so I can I text them. Hey, dude, that. I saw you paid rent and you were late. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? I have Venmo open right now. I want to let you know what people put. Okay. Ooh, let's see. Let's one everyone person, open their phone. One person right, basically put, got. I paid so-and-so for gas another person said i had to owe you for shoes bro one person put a slice of pizza one person put gundam another Gun- person put, oh gundam like gundam. model yeah yeah one person put kick ass wtm housing uh <clears throat> another person put haircut um the thing is like like carlos said you can make this stuff private um, I make every transaction private because I think it's so weird. Oh, I've got I several from a friend paying mm, her daughter that's for right, chores, for prom, uh, uh, reimbursement, whatever the hell that means. You paid her to go to prom? Nice. <laughs> nice. But, Yeti. Uh, but it's not it's yeah. it's not really social media. I mean, just they're just saying what they paid for. I don't yeah, understand why? that why concept. That? Yeah. Well, I just think why it's, is I think it an it's, option? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it's dumb that Venmo allows that to be seen. 
that was like its thing when it first came out. They're like, hey, we're like a social site. And I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it because it should be you should only be this you should only be able to see your transactions with who you're, you know, paying or yeah. getting money from. You shouldn't I shouldn't be able to see everyone's freaking transactions. Yeah. I do not I d I don't I don't Some understand. Dark the shit will come out one day from a friend of yours. What I'm uh, noticing like, on mine is that there is a boyfriend and girlfriend and they always like pay each other back for food. Mmm, sus. Yeah. What I got on yeah. mine is one certain dude giving massages to quite a few people. He gave a massage to one person and then he uh -huh. gave a massage to another person 10 hours later. Sounds like a creeper. Could be mm. his job. Or a masseuse. Yeah, well, he, he used to be a, a DJ. <laughs> he, I saw I know him. He used to be a DJ. Oh, yeah, he has good hands then. Well, I guess so. <laughs> Scratch my back. Yeah. Chicka, chicka. That's right. That's right. And somebody right. paid well, somebody well, for something well. that tastes like strawberries. Hmm. Now that's an interesting that, one. Uh, yeah. That's an interesting one. Hmm. Just see a bunch of uh, purple eggplants, and then you're like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's when. That's when I pay them and strawberries. I pay Ooh, them just yeah. to kind of get their attention. Like, why would you send me a dollar? <laughs> oh man, I'm just wondering. <laughs> What's that you get fishing? Me? Just putting it out there. <laughs> put it out there. I see your massage and you have an eggplant. What does that mean? All right. Well, there you go. Uh, use your social media wisely when it comes to jobs, dating, and your money, people. Use it wisely. We'll be right back here on Nerds Talking the Podcast. You say you want to be a tough guy. You want to fight? You want to handle your problems? <laughs> Has someone killed your master? We came in a battle. Do you need to get revenge for loved ones? <laughs> You've heard of the one-inch punch. Hey. How about the no-inch punch? Is there a bully picking on you at work? Fight me. Then you need to listen to Kung Fu Movies Podcast. Learn the art of the Kung Fu Overdub. You're pretty good. Threaten a man with words you don't look like you're saying. Why you want to kick me? Point at him and then pound your fist into your hand and tell him you're next. <laughs> Learn that and more on Kung Fu Movies Podcast. Nerds Talking is not responsible for anyone that gets hurt after listening to Kung Fu Movies Podcast. If you do happen to kick someone's ass by listening to the podcast, please let us know. We'll promote it on our show. And we'll even shout you out. You can even be on the show if you kick someone's ass. Nerds Talking the Podcast. Fight me. Welcome back to Nerds Talking the Podcast. I'm here with Laura, Johnny, Carlos, and I'm Lafayette. Remember to rate, subscribe, review, turn on notifications every Friday. New episodes of Nerds Talking the Podcast. Reviewing people. That's what we want. Give us your reviews. Tell us anything and everything. We don't care. We do not care. Hello to Australia. We know you're listening. So we care about you. There you go. Um, so uh summer's coming up. Right, Laura? That's right. Hey, no, seriously. Did you guys ever take that serious? When summer's coming up, did you ever do anything to get ready for summer? That could be working out. I don't know. Uh, that's probably the primary thing, right? Do you work out for the summer? Do you work out for any reason when it comes to time of year? Maybe you're going on a trip. Maybe you're going to this uh, reunion coming up. Um, you know, do you take any steps, any kind of steps, not even just working out, but anything that maybe makes you feel better for something coming up um laura i have said that i was going to many many times like oh i've got a trip coming up i'm gonna do xyz and i never did the only thing that i've ever actually said i'm going to lose weight before this thing and i did it was my wedding the only time that that ever actually happened <laughs> and other than that it's just like no it's a new time of year whole new way to feel bad about myself i spent the whole summer in my hoodies feeling good feeling cozy and then it's summer and then i'm like why why are all these shirts missing arms i don't i don't want to show those and then i'm sad Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, I've never had that, like, oh, summer's coming or anything. And I think it's different for guys. It really is different. Oh, very mm -hmm. different styling, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And, A lot and more I'll... flesh on display for the ladies. Yeah, and especially here in Southern California, if you live near the beach, it's a completely different uh, vibe. Even the guys are in super shape. Like, mm -hmm. I go to the beach and I'm like, not today. I'll turn right around and go back to my car. <laughs> And uh, or I go to my car, I get in the back seat and do sit ups, see if anything helps. I get ready to jump rope in my trunk, maybe do a couple of laps around the block that I'm in, then come back and go, still not today, and drive away. But uh, yeah, nothing. But like, like even things like, again, reunions or, 
maybe you're going to see some old friends of yours at a wedding or or, or something to that effect. Is that anything like that ever be is on your mind? Uh, oh, man, I might run into these old friends of mine or so and so. Anything like that ever cross your mind when you're maybe attending an event or and, and or seeing old friends? Johnny, anything? Like, uh, I mean, when I was younger, I remember uh, I knew I was going to be go- going on a cruise in six months. So I got in pretty good shape between January and the time of the done. cruise. Yeah. But then like two weeks before I went on the cruise, uh, me and my gr- ex-girlfriend got back together and was like, why? Seriously? I mean, what the fuck? Uh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I got in decent shape for my wedding. Um, and then soon after our wedding, we went to France. So I wanted to get in decent shape for that too. Um, but since then I've let go a little bit, you know what? Uh, it, I, I was going to ask you guys your opinion and I might have to leave the podcast early depending on your answers. So, uh, it's allergy season. And I get really bad allergies. And this season, I've been coughing a lot, just like, you know, along with the itchy eyes and the runny noses. But I've been coughing so, like, violently, like I'm almost choking. <clears throat> so the other day. COVID. No. I don't feel the, the rest Damn it, of I'm trying symptoms. to bring it back. I like my six weeks of paid time they off. Don't, they don't do that anymore. They're not bringing it back? The Chinese, the Chinese quit on us? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so... I was coughing so violently that like I was just nonstop like pushing air out, pushing air out. And then I kind of blacked out for a second. And I woke up and my fucking arms were hurting and tingling. And yeah. like my whole like upper body, almost like uh, at first I when I woke up, I was like, the fuck happened here? Did I have a heart attack? Cause like, but it was That's both what arms. I'm thinking. That, well, that, I mean, or, like, it's yeah, uh, so should, or, I, yeah, should I, I be say, going to the ER? Yeah, no. one or two things. Either I should go to the doctor, dude. Yeah, yeah, I was going to yeah. say, either a heart attack or the guy that was sitting on your chest with his <clears throat> in, in your mouth and you were coughing. <laughs> oh, get my off. God. <laughs> I didn't even think Tell about him that. to get off you. <laughs> Man, my arms are dumb. <laughs> <laughs> get off me. Can't you lose your job having affairs with inmates? Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> It's it's frowned upon. Or just but or just a new black, it. buddy. A slap on the wrist. Yeah. <laughs> I've coughed so hard that I like made myself gag like I was gonna throw up, but yeah, I've, I've never I've had blacked a lot, out. I've had a lot of that lately. Um mm. uh as far as like wanting to throw up and all that. But then just I don't know, that that one time. And then like there's been a couple times where I've had these coughing bouts and then those sensations get back to me. It's like and were you sitting all up at in the my time mm-hmm. at home? Yeah. What if you're like in a car? Yeah. yeah. Don't you want to see your doctor? I yeah. Eh. You need to. Are you, to are, you are you allergic Johnny. to anything? Though? <laughs> are you I mean, allergic just... to hell? Just <laughs> to what? Because I remember last week. I think it was last week where he's all. Oh, you know, I'm a man's man. I don't go to the doctor. I don't this, that, that, and the other. I'm like, who the fuck doesn't go to the doctor? If my, my eye itches, I'm in the doctor's office the next day. Oh, no, no, no. The the, the difference is you're a little bitch. And that's, oh, wow. But I'm alive, man. Yeah. Johnny so am I. For now. I'm proactive. <laughs> For now. I'm, I'm proactive. right here. Jesus. So what happened in the I'm, end, Johnny? I'm, the I'm the whole itches. I'm going to go check for the doctor, too. <laughs> He's all, Poor hey, fucking man. doctor, man. Yeah, dude, <laughs> I white, think you might just have to wash your ass. Asshole. <laughs> yeah, go take a probably shower. Is, yeah, go like, take a shower, man. You probably just left a little, uh, little rash back there from not cleaning up. That's <laughs> probably your pediatrician. Yeah, that's all right. I just need to be told, you know. <laughs> feel better about myself. I'm alive, but I suck at wiping my ass. No, I mean, it, the uh, besides the ER, which, you know, can be a nightmare sometimes, I'm just making appointments and and all that just seems to take forever for the doctor. So kind of walk it off. That's been my motto for a while. Uh, this that's, time, my favorite. that's my favorite. Honestly, my favorite. I can't feel my arms and my chest is killing me. I'll walk it off. <laughs> but it was it was asleep. both sides, though. It wasn't <laughs> like my left side wasn't numb. It was just and I know what it's from. So you were having a stroke. <laughs> I, I don't high think high blood so. pressure. Yeah, it could be high blood, blood pressure. Heart attack at the same yeah, time. diabetes. 
Oh, yeah, oh shit. Oh, Sons oh, of bitch. God. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> that beanie's kicked in. <laughs> that Bennis. Go to the doctor. Get a general practitioner. Get a doctor record. Go. Yeah, go. Because that's the thing. People say, oh, it takes forever to get into a doctor. Not if you actually have a doctor that you see on a regular basis. This is why people can't get in because they don't have a doctor. You have to do your like regular annual checkups with your doctor. And then when you call, when you have like an acute problem, they'll get you in the next day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Chinese problems aren't cute. I got a doctor. Yeah, I got a doctor. Guess what? Yeah. Trying to make an appointment. He's like, can you come in two months? Seriously? Yep. You have a regular doctor? He says that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You need to switch you find man. a new doctor. He's yeah. Like, I'm yeah. backed up, son. Your cancer can wait. For my rotator cuff issues, getting an MRI was taking months. Yeah. So what was the outcome? Still waiting. Oh shit. <laughs> Anybody or else? Old buddy you? Hugh or old buddy oh, yeah. Hugh is afraid to go to the doctor. He is afraid of the doctor, but he's afraid well, for bad he's news, like, though. Well, like if he has anything going on in the uh, genital area, he'll say like, "Oh, I don't want to go. I don't want him to look at this." I'm like, "The fucking doctor. You don't think he's seen that before?" Yeah, what's no. wrong with you, man? Just go. Nobody, nobody has seen my dick unless they're off Craigslist. As a woman, you go to the doctor once a year, and everyone looks at your hoo ha. So y'all need to just buck up and go <laughs> for your your you know once in a blue moon problems. But he's also stance. just you know he's also he can have like something on his arm. Oh shit, that might be you know skin cancer. I ain't gonna go though because what if it is? Fuck that. You might want to look at my well, dick. Then you'll know. <laughs> that's when it, that's when he'll show his dick. <laughs> you came here. Let me see your arm, Hugh. No, let's look at my dick first. Then we'll see where we go from there. What? <laughs> Baby steps. Let's Baby see how steps. this plays out, dog. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Uh, Tell me which way you sli- swipe. Yeah. Swipe left or swipe right. <laughs> so anybody else will have allergies, not but not as bad as Johnny's uh, parasite, blackout. fucking blackout, Jeez, stroke, like, heart attack, fucking turn into a down. So it wasn't for long, right? Like because. Because it was after I uh, saw Renfield, and I it... wait. This was just like this week. Yeah. Oh shit! I thought this was yeah. like years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. It was after I was done watching it, and I was just coughing like crazy, and then, you know, I opened my eyes back up, and it was the credits were still rolling. So I had already finished maybe, the movie. Maybe you're allergic wasn't to that Luke Cage. I thought you were going to say open my eyes. Maybe back you're allergic up. to Nick Cage. And then my grandparents were there. (laughs) 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 Then you hear hear your wife, not yet, Johnny. You just pat it on your chest. (laughs) Yeah, I think I'm good. Oh, good. Diagnosed. He's fine. Uh, I mean, the only thing that's changed is the season, right? So, like. Yeah, that'll do it. It's blackout season, of course. Uh, (laughs) I like how I'm indoors watching a movie. Seasons has to be. <laughs> <laughs> Did we change the filter on the HVAC? Honey, <laughs> how far does that pollen get in here? <laughs> God damn it, honey. <laughs> he had a full head of hair and no allergies. You guys, you guys That's true. deserve a lot worse in your life. I promise you. <laughs> I do have no allergies. You're right. Laura, oh, do you have any yeah. allergies? I didn't no get allergies. allergies. I have allergies now. I didn't have them, but. Sacramento is just full of pollen and everything. I've never blacked out. Jesus Christ. I mean, we can get off that now. We, you know, he's fine now. He's, he's yeah, fine. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> he's good. He's going to WebMD. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he got his checkup. <laughs> I have like, a brain tumor, according to, brain, I, according to WebMD. But I, I don't want to put that into Google. Like, what happens when <laughs> blackout and your chest hurts and your arms are numb? And then it goes See, the medical Are you still alive? Yeah. yeah. yeah the Put answer. the phone down and go to the yeah. hospital. The answer is tell them to take it out of your mouth and get off your chest. Right? <laughs> you son of a... But I paid for the full hour. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. I was using my, one of my apps. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Well, that's fantastic. All right. Um, let's jump over to uh, the writer's strike. Have you guys been paying attention to that? Here in Hollywood, it's all over the place. I drove I drove by all the studios last week during work. And Ooh, all of them were out there. They were Jasper any autographs. Oh no, there's no celebrities. They're just writers. They, they writers. Don't do, writers are they, the they don't do the blood. They don't do the important part. Uh, no, but I, um, I don't know. What do you what do you guys take on it? Because uh what they're really 
what they are really striking for is residual payoff of reruns and so forth. And and a lot of so there's there's it's mainly the streaming. They're pissed off about streaming because wasn't this the last strike too? I think, I think it's the so. same similar thing. But this one is about you know you and I wrote Stranger Things, maybe just one episode, season three. That guy he wants all the money from the one trillion times people have watched that episode. What's your take on that? Do you feel like you've been paid for your work, you know, to write this? Or do you feel like they should continuously get paid for the same episode over and over? Because typically only, you know, only actors get that money, right? That Not, not streaming wise, they get in a syndication for, you know, Seinfeld and whatever. What's your take? What, what, you know, what's, what's your take on this? If that's the case, shouldn't the cinematographer get paid every time that episode comes on? Shouldn't the boom mic guy get paid every time the thing comes on? Different you know? I don't know about that. Why no, not? I, I agree with Carlos. Yeah. Like the, the, the premise has to apply across the board. You're like, you're a behind the scenes worker and you know, well, that's like saying the where makeup do you draw person the should line? get paid for every episode they put makeup on someone's face. Well, that's what I'm saying. So where do you draw yeah, the line then? Why not? But I see, mean, people are tuning in because of the actors. I mean, the writing's mm, got to be good, too. I mean, obviously. Yeah, the writing's exactly. Well, that's just it. Remember, these... And the cinematography. And the yeah, makeup. Exactly, it's all got to be good. Exactly. Well, mm, you got to look at it this way. They're getting paid for their for the creativity, right? The writing and the acting. That's the creativity part of it. You're not paying... You know the food craft guy that did the food craft for the whole season of whatever show. You know, why not? yeah, okay, I guess that makes sense. That's more of a skill base as opposed to creativity yeah, yeah. It's, or it's, like artistry, quote unquote. You have to be part of the production of the show in some regard. I, I would assume to get paid, right? Producers still get paid off of reruns and so on and but so forth. I think forth. when it comes to streaming, it's it's a, I don't know, it's different because you should pay someone um like one time i don't think actors are getting paid every time the sh the movie gets played not like in in reruns i think they're getting paid well for one because they're in syndication and that's what you want if you worked on a show you definitely want syndication but isn't that money also coming from advertising dollars that's how they're paying them so streaming, there's no advertising dollars. Are are they suggesting that more people are coming to streaming because or signing up because of the certain show? I mean, how do they gauge that? Well, Where... I mean, the streaming service is going to pay the show, however many millions of dollars to, so they can stream it. So they right. can one -time in turn fee though, not continuous, right? Right. But uh, remember, those they should have a, a towards... contract or something like that, like. Because I remember when they were doing that with Friends and they were like, yeah, Netflix was like, Friends is just way too expensive. We're going to get rid of it. And like damn near all their fan base was like, all right, you get rid of it. We get rid of Netflix. So I had no choice to keep paying Netflix or keep paying Friends. And then that's why shows will leave and come as they go. They just pay the fee and their time runs up. Well, that's why a lot of directors and actors were getting mad during COVID because movies are going straight to streaming and there's no residuals in the back end with that. Not like there is in the theater. Or well, not as much, yeah. Right. So isn't that the same for everything else? Well, we to understand is when someone like Netflix comes around and buys a show, they're paying for all the production costs and then they're paying the extra fee on top to pay everybody your salary or whatever it is. It's your choice to stream it. It's not syndication, which just is forced on the television. Like if you watch Comedy Central, they're going to show you 15 episodes of The Office every day, no matter what. You're going to get it. But it's your choice what you want on to watch on streaming. So to me, they shouldn't get paid more for streaming services. Because at some point, nobody can, nobody can quit watching your show. Like, I don't know. I disagree I, I because <clears throat> the streaming service, you know, it's a fairly new thing. And then... Uh, that's what happened with the office is the office uh, when they had a writer strike during production the writers made some online content and then the nbc you know got paid advertising dollars for that online content but then the writers got nothing of that i mean they, they didn't even even get paid it was just like 
uh, an extra thing they were doing. Um, anyways, uh, so the streaming stuff is is a new. I mean, it's been around for a while, but I feel like the the laws aren't all quite there yet. Because like Scrubs, for example, if you watch Scrubs on DVD, they're going to have a certain set of music. And then uh, Bill Lawrence, the showrunner, like when it, it came down to streaming, like the the artists were like, hey, you know, you're streaming this now. You should you should pay us another 50, 100 grand for this song. And he was like, fuck that. I already paid you guys. Like, so if you notice in the streaming uh, Scrubs episodes, a lot of the songs are different, you know, just hopefully if- not that colin what's his name song the no i, I, I can't I, get to sleep he'd have to i mean yeah. that's a whole episode about it and he, he's he's like a friend of the show too so um i don't think it was one of them but there were a lot of uh they, they had talked about this on their podcast and there were a lot of songs that they just had to go through and just change and um it's unfortunate because i think it takes away from some of the uh the scrubs episodes but uh I still have all the DVDs, so you can definitely tell the the difference. Yeah, what, what's writer strike though? What has to do with the right? Right, going back to the writer strike. Uh, well, I'm, no, I'm just saying it. that that it's the similar. the laws are are different. I mean, uh, you know, just like with the streaming stuff, they're they have a right to to get more money for the the. Streaming. I just think streaming is treated different than syndication, and that's where they want more money. So it's one of those things where. Maybe when they purchase the shows, pay more money up front. And no way you don't have to pay long term, right? And but they're mm-hmm. still gonna bitch about it. That's how I feel. If I was a writer on whatever show and they said, Hey, for the three seasons you've made, let's say I made three hundred thousand dollars. That's what the contract calls for. Eventually I'm gonna be like, This show's still number three on your platform. I should get more money. I wrote all this stuff. But it's like we paid you for what you did. I don't know. That's what the contract says. The you came to terms with it. What more do you want from us? Oh, no. Yeah, and I if mean, you want to get re up for a fourth season, then you're going to be able to bargain for more money again. You know, like, oh, we're super popular. So fork it out over, well, dude. Yeah. I also feel like, like there was a guy that interviewed on TV, local TV for the news, and, you know, he's out there striking. He's like, yeah, I'm striking. And they, they showed what he wrote. He wrote like episode six, season four of some show on Bravo that none of us probably ever seen. He's like, and we should all get a fair shake. I'm like, man, you wrote one episode for Bravo TV or something like that. And and you're proud because you're an accredited writer and all. But how much money do you expect to get? You know, like what is it you're expecting, per se? You know, um, it's like Seinfeld reruns. Only people that get paid off of Seinfeld reruns is Jerry and Larry. Probably a couple of other producers, but no, other actors don't get any money from it. I think they may now. But they didn't uh, when they first started doing the rerun syndication. That's a bad contract right there. Oh, yeah. Jerry and Larry own all of Seinfeld. They make all that damn money. You know how much money Netflix pays those fools? Holy shit. And uh, I, 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 don't know if, I don't know if the actors at Friends make the billion-dollar contract they signed with NBC recently for Peacock. I don't know if they make any of that money. I'm I'm assuming they do because I, from what I know, they do make residuals off of syndication. Right. But, you know. It's it's tough because, you know, if I write you something, should it live forever in infamy where I, I should always make money off somebody watching that episode, no matter what? As long as the show is still making money. I don't okay. see why not. Well, hmm. there you go. I mean, that's Carlos. What's your final take? Uh huh. Yep. We can't hear you. Oh, he needs a writer, but it's on strike, so we can't hear him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know. It's like I said, it's a slippery slope. So, I mean, if you're gonna pay the actors, and the show is written well, like for example, New Girl, extremely well written show, funny, and the actors are funny too. So, if the actors are getting paid, I don't know if they're getting paid or how they get paid for it being streaming, but if they're getting paid, then maybe the whole creative team should get paid, the writers and well, the director and the actors. So, I mean, there's got to be some sort of pot because if you get a million streams or, or a million downloads or whatever it is, there's got to be somebody getting paid somewhere for that, not just Netflix or Hulu or whomever. 
So I think there should be something that, yeah, they get. I know a kid who was in the movie, uh, that John Travolta movie where he had like the powers. Phenomenon or something like that. But not, yeah, something like that. And he still gets residual checks and he was barely in it. He was like, you blink, you'll miss him. But that's how he paid himself through college and he still gets residual checks because it's playing in some foreign country because I've never seen it on the US TV. But I mean, there's small checks. It'll be, it might be something like two bucks. It might be like 15 cents. But he's still getting paid. And this thing Did you say he paid streaming. through college? For well, he made decent through. money at what first. College? You know, but With he was also checks. 12 years old when he was in that No, movie. this is when it first came out. And yeah, he saved yeah, his yeah. money for college. But what I'm saying is he's still getting paid. So why isn't it happening the same with streaming? It should. Absolutely. Because I think streaming is, is treated like you get you paid for your for your job, your one time. I think that's how these streamings. Because remember, they don't have to work with you know the unions if they don't really want to. I mean, they can go buy content out in fucking Germany and you know everywhere else they buy content from. You know, um, I think they just treated. I think these streaming services treat it very different. So we'll see what comes out of it. I mean, maybe they'll just make shows a little bit cheaper to pay these people. Who knows? Maybe the Karate Kid will not have karate in the final season. But keep it low key. Just a lot of good conversation. The uh, final <laughs> Superman too much with uh, Christopher that's Reeves. Too good point. Too much writing. <laughs> too much writing, man. <laughs> when Superman went to uh, Canon Industries. Uh, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. They, they they had to sacrifice a little bit. Uh, Superman 4. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> Superman 4 had to cut the budget by so much. It was so bad. But uh, yeah, that's right. That's that right. The quest for peace. That's the quest for yes. peace. Yes. Laura, what's your take? What is your take on the writer strike? Um, I don't really know much about it, so I'm not gonna tell them what they should or shouldn't do. I'm just, you know, a little bit as a Midwestern person who always wanted to do something cool. I'm like, you get to do something cool. You got to write. You got to be in a writer's room. You got to make writing your job, and that's something to be grateful for. But but again, that's coming from an outsider. You know, you do have to make a living. So uh, non-committal. I don't know. They know their lives better than I do. I have very little opinion. Huh. Well, thanks for coming on to the, listen to the podcast, everyone. So one of <laughs> nobody has an opinion. Damn it. We need to get you a writer. Shit. Um, Carlos, we, wait, no, no, Carlos, we are a part of SAG. No, you're not ever part of SAG. No. Hugh was, right? No. No, really? I'm surprised. Okay. It's hard to get into that into the union, sad. right? How, how does that work? Like, that's a tricky thing, isn't it? Like, being a part of it's SAG? It's 22. Like, okay. you can only get SAG jobs if you're in SAG, but you have, in order to get into SAG, you have to get SAG jobs. So how does that work? Well, back in, I don't know about now, but back in the day, if you did enough, like, for example, if you did enough independent film, you can be SAG eligible and you can apply for SAG. But then a lot of people would apply for SAG, but they did it thinking they'd get more work, but then didn't, and they had to pay the fees. So it cost more to actually be in SAG than it is because you're not making enough money working to pay your fees. So a lot of people stop acting or stop or just give up on SAG because they're not getting the work they thought they would get for being SAG. Yeah. And the worst part really is, uh, like Carlos said, you can't get any any big parts without being in SAG. Like, you're screwed. So you're stuck doing these shitty independent movies. Well, with any uh, luck, that independent film does well. Like uh, <laughs> Lady Bird. That was an independent film. Everybody there, sure, now it's SAG, and they're doing oh, yeah. Yeah. better work. But, you know, that's luck of the draw. Yeah. Well, I mean, it makes I mean, sense why why all of these famous actors are come from rich families. It's because you oh, can yeah, pay the absolutely. SAG dudes and dick around in Los Angeles for, you know, eight years until you make it on something. Yeah, I mean, what, nice. uh, or what's nepotism the... is huge, right? Because yeah, that your too. parents... Yeah. And... Oh, go ahead. Name five actors from nepotism. Name five like, actors movie? from nepotism? Just you know, name that... five actors, like, like, Yeah, they're like period. became Michael famous Douglas, based from nepotism. Kurt Russell... Kurt Russell, how's okay? Kurt, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Wait, Kurt Russell, uh, I forgot. Dan Radcliffe. Is it 
What's oh, I forgot his kid's name. The rapper kid. Oh, you're talking Not about the rapper. The other, rapper other kid. one, Colin. Colin, Colin Hanks. Hanks. Okay, two more. Oh, what's her name? Dan Dakota. Radcliffe. Not the uh, uh, Dan Radcliffe. Wait, who's his mom? Who's his parents? His parents are um, big writers uh, in the film industry. No, wrong. Harry Potter's parents are his parents. Dummy. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't know. Okay, we got Radcliffe. Don got... Johnson's daughter. Forget Don her name. J- Dakota Johnson. There you go, Dakota. <clears throat> That's right, Dakota yeah. Johnson. Yeah. Is okay, Julia we... Lewis Dreyfus is she related to uh what's his name? Richard Dreyfus. Richard Dreyfus? Yes, because we say so. <laughs> I don't think so. No, I'm serious. Like look up any actor and then like see who his parents are, his uncles. Nick Cage. Uh, oh, Nick Cage, right. yeah. Nick Cage. He's a Coppola, yeah. isn't he? He's he a is Coppola. a Coppola. Uh, yeah. He just doesn't yeah. no one would know that though, unless you heard it here first. That's right. Unless Good you call. Been on the oh, internet. Like, nah, what's his name? The guy from uh, not real. Uh-huh. Who's the guy that played Crossbones in Marvel? Crossbones. Oh, 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 oh. He's now in like a DC movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I forgot. I forgot. Who's he recently poop? did a movie, mm-hmm. independent film, but it's got picked up by theaters, limited run. But mm-hmm. guess who directed it? His dad. His son. Ah, good for him. Yeah. Good for him. He couldn't say no at that audition. He couldn't <laughs> say no. Johnny, name one actor. Nepotism. Go. Mm-hmm. I mean, oh wow, this is whatever. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's the best answer. Come on, oh, the chick. What's her name? Kate Hudson. Oh Actor yeah, Hudson. Yeah, you guys are clowns. I win. All right. Oh, that was good. Baldwins. That was the Laura's that was, the that Baldwins. Was five. The Baldwins. She had no idea we were playing a game. The Scars the Guards. The Scars Guards. That's right. I'm the sure Scars the Helmsworths guards. are too. Oh, the how about Brandon yep. Lee? Brandon oh, yeah. Lee. yeah. Well, yeah. Ah, that's what's sour. You shut your mouth when you talk <laughs> about him. <laughs> you can't talk about him if your mouth's shut. <laughs> uh, it's part of the joke. Dumbass. Ah, no good. Johnny, don't have his truck. All right. Well, that's all we got for you this week. A little LinkedIn. Why little is the left side of your face so limp? Oh, like Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, why? <laughs> yeah, your eyes seem like they're very closed. I didn't know what you're talking about. No, that wasn't even a stuff <laughs> joke. Um, that's pretty much it. It's all I've got for you. LinkedIn, online dating, a uh, little Hollywood strike, and uh, we did have something else. You guys remember what the other one was? Uh, I can't remember. Anyway, crypto. Stay away from it. There we go. That's our topper. Anything else, Johnny? I've shared enough today. I mean, come on. You got to say something about the Lakers. They're, they're beating the Warriors as, we go. as it stands right now. There we go. They're not going to beat the Nuggets, though. Uh, Laura, anything left? Yes. Uh-huh. I have been watching. Uh, I've, I've just, I finished watching Perry Mason. Okay. It's fucking yeah. awesome. Okay. Two seasons. And I decided, I'm like, what other HBO dramas are out there that I haven't watched and I started watching Boardwalk Empire. Ah, oh, very good. Mm. It's good. Yeah. It's and it's like good. kind of a slow burn. Uh, How I, far I've into watched, it are you? I'm maybe like 10 episodes. Ooh, mm. Lost my headphones. Uh, like 10 episodes into the first season. Um, Pretty good. Pretty good. It's a slow burn, but it's like, it's, it's good. It's well written and it's interesting. And I started watching it years and years and years ago i watched a few episodes and i liked it but then i think because it was kind of slow i slacked off and so i'm glad i picked it back up it's good to watch but i will stay say watching steve buscemi like kiss women i'm like mm, hot. Bleh. oh really <laughs> <laughs> hmm. it's the teeth it's the gangly teeth are you sure it's They're the teeth so or just that it's gross. steve buscemi <laughs> No, it's, it's the t- teeth. <laughs> I mean, like, because any, you know, people are attractive or unattractive, and it usually doesn't get such a visceral reaction out of me. It's the teeth. He's really a stand-up guy. You guys know all about the like, 911 stuff. Yeah. Oh no, he's, he's a, Steve Buscemi. He's yeah, a, he's a great dude. How about he was a volunteer Barry. firefighter on was, uh, yeah. on 911. He like threw in and started, you know, working with the guys because he was volunteer fireman for New York City. Hmm, I didn't he, know he has a very interesting career, right? Because he does, he does he does everything comedy, drama, and he kind of can do everything, you know. And mm-hmm. yeah, he he's good. Um, and he, have you guys watched Barry? Barry, uh, oh, HBO has one one episode left. 
I tried yeah. to watch it. I oh, wasn't okay. into it. All right, this season is is a little awkward. That's for sure. A little bit awkward. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you want to watch a good one, HBO I always talk about it. You gotta watch Secession. It's phenomenal. It's that fun. one is on my list. Yeah, it's good. So check. You guys ever watched The Wire? Yes. Yeah, hated and it. And I want to rewatch it. Oh, hated it. Why did you uh, hate The Wire? It's got it got kind of boring. You know what it was though. You're you know like the only is? person on the planet that didn't I think like the because wire. when I watched first of all, I watched it two years ago. So not like I watched it when it came out back in freaking nineteen. I didn't either. Ninety nine or two thousand one or whatever. It doesn't hold up at all, like at all. So when you watch it now, you're like, oh, all this old technology. It doesn't like it's just so out of touch, and it's like this is horrible. It's just trash. It's not out of touch. I don't know. I just of the time. I think it was good for the first like two seasons, and then that like the last two seasons or whatever. It was like, eh, whatever. Talking about writers' strikes and writers, like The Wire is like one of the ones that people are like, you want to know how to write? Watch The Wire. Like it's well, any any good superb pop political drama show, you know, like I used to watch West Wing, loved it. You know, I always tell people House of Cards is really good. Like watch House of Cards. The first season. The first three. Then when his wife becomes president, turn it off. And then the uh, first season. No, end no, of it's story. pretty good. It's pretty good. I've watched it all. I didn't care for it. Nah, well, that's not true. No, I you said you lied just now. See, no, no, I did watch it all. Oh, now I watched you want, it now all. You want us to believe but you. I say I did mm. like it. But mm. it, the 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 first season is the. Is this the best? It is the best season though. It's the, the high point. Uh, the, everything yeah. after that's kind of mediocre. Yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, Carlos, anything else before we go? Are you watching anything or you have a appointment for your butt rash? What do you got going on? Uh, yeah, I just made one. The doctor's going to see me. Oh. Uh, i going to show my butthole through the camera. Yeah, Very nice. Lying. You know what my <laughs> best part, too? It's going to be like somebody else that he paid to show his butthole. <laughs> like, babe, let me borrow your phone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, excuse me, sir. The doctor's not in yet. Oh, I just wanted you. I just wanted to show somebody my butthole. Yeah. My you butthole. know what? <laughs> Why don't you just get a sneak preview and then let them know what you saw, bro? So, send them uh, pictures. Like, why are you so sending anything, me dick pics? Anything ah. you, yeah. <laughs> um, watch, yeah, one show I was watching would. Uh, Sweet Tooth. Oh, Sweet yes. Tooth is a good one. I just that's finished back season, for season two. two. It took a while to right. come back, but yeah, that's a good one. And I'm wondering if HBO Max would have more subscribers if WB would just hold on to their good shows. Like Sweet Tooth is a WB production. Ted Lasso is a WB production. They just need to hold on to their stuff, man. Stop putting out crap because on HBO Max there really isn't too much to watch right now. Yeah, but just I don't realize think there is. Ted Lasso was out before HBO Max existed. They could have put it on HBO though, you know. So there you go. Everybody's put it on HBO. Yep, there you go. Well, that's our show, everyone. Thanks for tuning in this week to Nerds Talking the Podcast for Johnny. See you. For Laura. Goodbye. For Carlos. Bye bye. And I'm Lafayette. We'll see you or you'll hear us something to that effect next time here on Nerds Talking, the podcast.